Have you seen what God is about to do, church? Have you seen what God is about to do? The months of August, September, October, November are going to be tough, rough and tough. The word of the Lord came unto me saying, Can I go tell the people that I, the Lord, am taking over my church and gates of hell will not prevail against it. This is the same prophecy I've been given since 2012. When those angels came to my house in Lagos and told me that the so-called end time message was a scam. Yahoo, Yahoo in church, RNG prophecy, praying with candles, praying with mirror, praying with coconut, praying with incense, burning incense, lying against church people, deceiving them, collecting their money, like what you see Ubert Angel and Co. doing in the land. God continues to talk to us about what he is about to do, impending dangers over my generation. Yeah, the Bible says, he says, yeah, a short walk will I do, right? He will do a short walk for the righteous sake. A short walk will God do in the land. A short walk. You are seeing, right? Suddenly, the atmosphere is changing, right? You are seeing the constellations changing. You are seeing the star, the moon, the times. You know, scriptures say here that men shall seek to change times and laws. Everything that man shall be doing shall be orchestrated by the Spirit of God. Whatever they do, God is the one allowing them to do it because God is ushering in something. I can't even explain it here. Because if I explain it, those people who are prophetic thieves, those people who love to steal the word of the Lord from the mouth of a true prophet, they will steal the prophecy and go and say they are the ones that God revealed it to. Your lies are coming to an end. Your deceit and deception are coming to an end. All those malignity, all those backstabbing, it's coming to an end. Because the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof. The church also belongs to God. These are not the days where somebody comes out and says, Oh, that he is a senior. Oh, he has been in ministry for 400 years. Oh, this, oh, that. God has chosen his people. And they are out there doing God's work, fulfilling ministry, doing the work of an evangelist, making full proof of ministry in these last days. So continue with that. Those things you think you're doing that God does not know. Mm. Amos chapter 8 verse 11. Scripture says shall come to pass in those days. There shall be a famine in the land. It shall not be for food or for water, but of hearing the word of God. You are seeing what it is, right? The level of corruption in the church. The level of deception in church. If your discernment is not sharpened, if God does not open your eye to see what it is, I am telling you, you're not going to survive in this generation. The devil has his hands in almost everything that you're looking at in the land. The devil has put his hands almost everywhere. And God continues to call out his own. Hey, my sheep, hear my voice. The voice of a stranger, they will not follow. God continues to talk about false doctrines, false teachings, dogmas creeds that were raised up by demonic people who want to use church as their tool of control they most of them listen to me sometimes and they go back and do worse see the generation that you find yourself living in the holy ghost is taking over everything and god told me he will be killing people certain people will be running mad they will wake up today and run to canada and god is there waiting for them they run to New York. God is there waiting for them. They run to Mississippi. The Holy Ghost is there waiting for them. They run to North Carolina. God is there waiting. The earth is the Lord's. The Holy Ghost is electrifying, electrocuting every sector of the land. And the demons of the land, they know. That's why they are packing their loads. See, these are the days where you will see people come out broad daylight to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Also to manipulate God's people. Not to do ministry. There was a Sangoma I met here, a voodoo priest from Haiti, tried to talk me out of my out of my prophetic ministry. They say, "Oh no, it's a dark angel. Oh no, it's not God talking to you. Oh no, stop talking. Oh no, they want to silence you. Never let a Sangoma silence you. The church and the earth is the Lord's. It does not belong to any Sangoma. Watch October. Watch November." in 2023 
God cannot be mocked. I saw the fire burning in the land. And I saw the rain in the land. And I saw the wind in the land. It is God by himself doing it. You know, before God delivered the children of Israel out of the, out of the land of Egypt, before he delivered them from the hands of Pharaoh, right? God had to send some scary, scary things to the land for Pharaoh to know that the people needed to go and serve God. Let my people go that they may serve me, saith the Lord. This is thus, saith the Lord. God bless you. Amen. God bless the church and God bless the righteous wherever you are. Amen.